How many thumbs up? Five million. Five million? That's, you only got two. Okay. <laughs> Back in the kitchen again today. Today I'm making beef jerky. I've got five and a half pounds of a Hunter's Blend from High Mountain Seasonings in a bowl. It's been marinating overnight. We're going to get that into the dehydrator and we're going to get that rolling. And I got three and a half pounds of a new one. It is, well, it's not, it's new to me, not new to them. Uh, it's High Mountain Seasonings Inferno Blend. And it has uh, cayenne pepper, chipotle pepper, jalapeno, uh, habaneros, and then just black pepper. So it's going to be a little spicy. I'm looking forward to this one. And again, it's been marinating uh, overnight. So we're getting ready to put it into the um, dehydrator here. And so let's get started. for all these little pieces and how you can keep those get them into your dehydrator and have them once they're all finished up here trick is ta-da silicone cooking mat so just take and lay them down on top of the mat you're gonna have to rotate these a little bit more often because obviously you just have the airflow over the top versus down through the mat but you don't have to worry about all these little pieces trying to fall down through the grate on the rack itself they'll still lay out nice and flat so they'll dry evenly again as long as you're turning them over no need to waste all these fine little pieces and you don't got to take as much time trying to hang them over each individual piece of the rack. So you don't have to take and take this little piece and hang it over the wire and let it hang there like this to dry. Just lay it out. Super easy. Because they're so small, yes, they will they will dry out very quickly. Keep that in mind, you gotta keep checking on these. And because when everything is in the dehydrator, the liquid as it's released will want to drip down through the racks. And I'll show you that here in just a second. We're gonna put this on the very top. We still get the desired effect. Wipe my hands off. So there you go. You got some of those really small pieces. These pieces could have probably been laid in there. You got these 
really small pieces over here that would have been a problem. So let's take a look at how I'm going to stick it inside the uh, dehydrator here for you. All right, so now we're going to take our sheet with the silicone mat on it, and I've got 12 racks here, and at the very top is where the last rack goes, and that's where I'm going to put the one with the silicone sheet on it. That way, as things drip down this direction, all that liquid doesn't pool up on top of the silicone mat, keeping these from drying out. So I'm going to put them at the top because they're going to have very minimal liquid with the size that they are. And if it does come off, it's going to go out to the edge and then drop down to the bottom where it will go into the drip pan at the bottom of the um, dehydrator. So go ahead and close this door up. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to set the temperature. So this one goes up to 160 degrees. Push that again to set the temperature. And we're going to go So the the uh recommendation here is somewhere between 4 and 6 hours at 160 degrees. So I think we're going to go right at five hours and we'll check it, see where it's at and see if it needs to go a little bit longer. Time to check it. See what we got. We got eight minutes to let it go a little longer. Oh yeah. Now we're in good shape. They are a little warm. So use caution if you reach in there and grab them. this pin to set them down on. So I'm going to take these out of here. We're going to move them over to another pan. And we're going to toss them in the oven. We've got the oven set right now at 250 degrees. Uh, this only getting to 160 degrees. we got to get the whole thing up to that temperature. So we're going to play it safe, stick them on a tray, throw them in the oven, 250 degrees. We're going to leave them in there for 10 minutes just to get that internal temperature all the way up and make sure they are food safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So the beef jerky's done. We got a little bit of teriyaki for the wife. She really likes the teriyaki. I got that bag of Inferno spicy beef jerky. It's got really good flavor. I didn't think it was super hot, but um, you know we'll see as I get through there. And then we got a nice big bag uh, regular beef jerky. So that's our beef jerky video. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can with those comments. Uh, but hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. It's really not that hot. Hmm. He's not wrong. It's not super hot. I even went back and added more of the hot seasoning and mixed it in with it before I stuck it in the oven to bring it up to temperature. It's good. It's got good flavor. This one's just not super hot, but we do like hot food, so not to say that for somebody else it's not hot. Anyway. Include that in the video? Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know how to work it? And then we got beef jerky for a while. Thanks for watching.